I was so excited when I got the news that another Natasha Denona package was on its way and this is the summer 2019. This is super cute and this will definitely land in my makeup bag, my travel makeup bag and everyday makeup bag. I swatched it for you guys as well. Gorgeous highlighter and gorgeous bronzer. And I can use these both as eyeshadow as well, so it's perfect. These are for metallic liquid lipsticks and the name is brilliant. Nude Metallica, Copper Guild, Cyber Cherry, Achromatic and here are the swatches. I love Achromatic and I think I'm going to wear this on stage. And I wonder... If it's possible to also use these, the, the two lighter ones, as eyeshadow, I'm, I might try it on my own eyes. <laughs> Here's the gorgeous tan, bronze and glow palette. Let me swatch this for you guys. My arm is full of swatches, but I guess you guys will forgive me. <laughs> so this is the tan, bronze and glow palette. On the left you have the cream um, glow cream base, then the super glow, then the blush and bronze powder, and the glow impact powder over there. I think I'm gonna play with it right now. So we have to forgive a general zit I have on my face, but it will go away. So I'm going in with the, I'm so bad with names, glow cream base. And I'm placing this on my cheekbones. You can see right now, I already have foundation on, concealer, and blush, cream and powder. So I'm gonna also go above the brow. I always think that's a beautiful spot to highlight. All right, I'm already super glowy just with one product. And then I'm just taking my finger, which are from swatching, still a little dirty, and just clean it. And I'll just work around the edges make it melt into the skin. You can also take a makeup sponge and just make it look more seamless. But you can already tell I'm glowing. And the glow cream base I can tell I already love because it reminds me of a discontinued product from Art Deco which is a strobing cream. This one's a little bit lighter but the formula is quite similar so it melts on the skin really now I'm taking, from my friend Linda Hallberg, <laughs> I'm taking a brush, the 306, I don't know how it's called, but I'm going in with the Glow Impact Powder to get the cream. Oh yes. I don't know, the, the camera's not picking it up, but this is like glowing. I'm glowing all the way to... I wanted to say I'm shining brighter than the sun. Look at that. Woo. And this zit needs its own zip code. But I think I'm going to call it zit code. This is the devil right there on my face. And now it's time to stop talking about the zit. It's there. I'll embrace it. I'm using It Cosmetics number no. 4 blush brush for bronzing. So I'm going in and I can already tell it is quite pigmented. So... I'll dab off a little bit on the back of my hand and sweep across the forehead. Better start with too little product than having to blend out too much product. It's easier like so. Go a little bit along the hairline, the cheeks and down the jawline. And I always go a little bit over the nose because that's also where the sun would hit me. <laughs> Even though I still have to go on a holiday and I've not been out in the sun much. I have this nasty allergy, you know, I'm trying to stay a little bit out of the sun. But I look like I just came back from wherever I'm going to. 
My eyes are still naked, so let's fix that. And I'm going to use this palette as well. I've got two brushes, Jax Beauty Line. These are some of my favorites. These are number nine. They're great for concealer, for like powder. But right now I'm going to use them for the eye look. Because they're nice and big. And they go like whoosh, one swipe and you're done. So I'm adding a layer of the glow cream base. And this reminds me <laughs> of... Um, a highlighter from RMS Beauty. This looks really beautiful on the eyes. And on top, I am going to do a little bit of the Glow Impact Powder, which is this one. And I again take this big Jax Beauty line number nine. And I'm going to just put a little bit on the center, not all over, but like the highest point of the eyeball. <laughs> And now I'm going in the bronzer. I've been using bronzer as eyeshadow for the longest time because I love the way it looks. It ties everything together. And for my skin tone, it's like a warm skin tone. It is a great, great eyeshadow color. Especially the, the more warm toned bronzers. Going in the crease. Looking good already. Taking a small eyeshadow brush. This is MAC 228. And I'm going on the lower lash line as well. This will make it really smoky. And last but not least, the inner corner highlight. Let me see. I think I might want to do the Super Glow. Super Glow is a little bit more golden or yeah, bronzy than the Glow Impact Powder. I think for now. I'm going to use the Glow Impact Powder, which has the Natasha Denona logo in it. And I always hate ruining like a beautiful pattern in a makeup product. But yeah, it would be a shame to not use it. And some liner, mascara, lipstick, done. I'm doing a tiny line with Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. And I like these kind of... Um, liners just going along the lash line doesn't have to be neat because I'm going over it with a dark brown liner and then Marc Jacobs Beauty this is called Roco Co. <laughs> it's like one of the gel is it highliner highliner gel eye crayon damn all these names and just I'm going on top of the black and a little bit above, smudge it out, smoke it out. So it will be nice and black at the root and more soft and diffused higher up. Clinique High Impact Waterproof in black. This is now where everything comes together when you put on the mascara. And there you go, finished look. I used Essence Lip Liner number 11 in the nude. This is ancient, it's vintage, so I don't know if you can still get it. Thanks for watching, everybody.